right, we have Casey here. We're taking a break in the ER, so let's catch the news. We don't get a chance to catch the news much. Uh, you need to quarantine 10 days, but also you don't. You can just quarantine for five days, but you would still need to wear a mask because you like could still be contagious. But like you're also not contagious at that point. And you don't, you shouldn't go to work, but like if they need you, you should probably go to work. Only go to work if you don't have symptoms, but like if you have symptoms, it's okay. But like you should be taking tests, but also like don't take a COVID test because there's not enough. But like you should be taking one as much as you can because like, you need a quarantine. That is what it's like to watch the news these days. It's very confusing. So I'm here with Casey, one of our superstar nurses, and our nurses are holding down the fort now during the pandemic. And here's a few teaching points from the emergency room. What Casey and I are seeing is that there are many people coming in with COVID, and now we have home tests available, and you can just test at home. So we realize that a lot of people will probably get COVID at some point or another, but what we don't want is for people to get COVID at the same time. Because in your community, there's only so many ER beds we have here, and only so many nurses and staff. So if we fill up all our beds, then if you have a heart attack or a stroke or a broken bone, there'll be no beds for you in your community. So what can we do here? When you take a test, remember that just because you're positive doesn't mean you need to come to the emergency room. COVID is not treated with antibiotics, and we don't give oxygen unless your oxygen value, which you may be checking at home with a pulse ox, is 90% or less. So unless you're really struggling, you can maybe ride this out at home or go elsewhere other than the emergency department. And also I wanna share with you some data from a meta-analysis from the Lancet. So this was in the journal Lancet, and what they did is they took 172 studies, and what they did is they took these studies from 16 countries in six continents. So they looked at a total of 26,000 people. And what did they find? They found that we have some tools that can help us decrease the load here in the emergency room. So the first, as you know, are these masks. So the masks decrease transmission from 70% to 3%. So that's quite a bit. And then the eye protection for the healthcare workers like us decreases transmission from 16% to 6%. And then they also found that if you distance three feet or more, transmission is dropped from 13% to 3%. So we have those tools available and vaccination. So none of it's perfect, but those are double digit drops. So if you do that, perhaps we can leave some more beds open in the emergency room for the really serious emergencies. So please guys, stay healthy.